at what point did you decide to start learning or, or, or you know, training in different martial arts? So the dojo was a Japanese martial arts school, judo, jujitsu, aikido, and karate, right? I took judo, obviously, the most serious because that was, you know, the biggest one in the club. So judo, you know, I was doing a lot of that, right? And then when I was in high school, I started wrestling. And that was like, I fell in love with wrestling. I was good at it right off the bat because of my judo experience. And then I wrestled in college. And then after college, I started doing a little bit more, you know, striking oriented stuff. Doing karate is a little bit different than like boxing and Muay Thai, right? So I had a great friend, Joe Sampieri, who's a Muay Thai coach. So I got into boxing, you know, and I was doing boxing for a couple of years, you know, sparring, doing this stuff and trying to refine myself there. And then jujitsu, I've kind of been on and off for like the last decade. And I kind of have like a great, great partnership with this guy, Brian Glick. He teaches me Brazilian jujitsu and I teach him judo. Wrestling versus judo. Mm. Give me an idea of what it is to, to compete wrestling versus competing in judo. The most uh, different thing, you know, growing up doing wrestling and judo was that wrestling, you do a part of the school system. So high school team, college team. So mm -hmm. you really have sort of this brotherhood behind you, right? You're mm -hmm. going to the tournaments together. You're wearing the same colors. You're wearing the same uniform. A lot of the times judo, yes, but it's a little bit more scattered because you have a lot more random dojo it's very rare to see a judo team bringing 40 people deep right and then the depth is not as deep in the united states now i'm not talking japan cuba russia i'm not talking about those countries i'm talking in the united states specifically there's a lot more depth in wrestling you can go into a wrestling tournament have a 47 person bracket you know and you have to it's a long day you have to win six matches in a row you know and so it's a little bit of a different feel all right talk to me about sambo all right, that's usually a, a, a yeah. that's usually a little bit different than what we discussed. It's not a very or as popular as judo and and yeah, uh, yeah sambo's really cool, man. It's a wrestling judo hybrid, and it's a sport that's immensely popular in Russia, Bulgaria, all those uh, Soviet countries, and it really is like a, a, a almost perfect rule set. You know, you could shoot it on the legs. You know, you're not wearing gi pants, you're wearing those wrestling shorts, so you could wrestle and you could do judo. Um, you could do leg, ball, leg locks, straight knee bars, ankle locks, elbow locks. Uh, yeah, very, very intense. You know, uh, the Pan American region's not so strong at Sambo, but like you go to the Soviet, you go to the Europeans, those guys are savages. 